Hey folks, one question that we often get is, what's the best way to install the chlorinator so it turns on and off automatically with the well pump? If you go to the chlorinator page and you scroll down, here's a diagram that shows there's three different ways you can do it. The most common way is you wire it in directly to the pressure switch on your well pump. So whenever the well pump turns on, the chlorinator pump turns on. And you're injecting into a stream of water it's flowing from your submersible pump that's more or less the same flow all the time because whenever your well pump turns on it runs at certain flow rate say 10 15 gallons per minute whatever it is and that way you get an even injection of your chlorine so you have a chlorine residual that's even the same all the time now the next way is to use a flow switch so one thing to know is that when you go to install your metering pump by wiring into your flow switch you need to install a wall outlet the wall outlet is there so you can plug your chlorinator pump into it's wired to turn on and off whenever the well pump turns on and off however say you want to have a plumber install your system or you don't want to uh, mess around with any wiring of any kind yourself then in that case you can get a flow switch the flow switch makes it very easy to install you just plumb in the flow switch and it has its own outlet with it that turns on and off whenever the uh, there's flow and this is again the, the injection point is before the pressure tank the final way is to use a proportional feed system these are very handy if you want to say chlorinate the water only going into the house and not have the garden water be chlorinated or say you wanted you're on a community well system and you're you, you, obviously you can't chlorinate your neighbor's water you just want to chlorinate your water uh, then that's another good way to do it uh, there's different reasons why but essentially having a flow sensor also makes it very easy to install no wiring and it controls the amount of chlorine that's injected into the water based on the flow of your water so the water flows faster so you're using more water in the house then it's going to pump allow the metering pump to pump faster or slower based on the speed of the water based on the flow rate okay if you have any questions about that uh, please email us or call us but that explains the three different ways you can set up your system to get a, an even amount of chlorine not too much not too little all the time